Hey guys, welcome back to Mist of Knowledge and this is Shahama here with a new topic to give you guys. And I'm really sorry that I wasn't present for last week or so. Um, I was so pushed away with my studies. But to make it up for that, I brought a new topic and that is called the palindrome effect in Python. So uh, you guys might be thinking, what is palindrome? It's a word that is same even in reverse. I mean, like, I'll give some examples, like madam, one to one, and missed. Madam is a palindrome as, even though if it is in reverse, it's the same. And same goes with one to one. But the missed is not a palindrome as, when it's in reverse, it comes like sim. I mean, like, one, two, three, and three to one. It's just like that. Next is strings or numbers well strings are just you know words and numbers are just numbers you can go like one two three four five and go till infinity and example for words are madame rainbow um livy and jake okay so the next thing is the coding rules the coding rules of palindrome effect is really important and like the coding of everything is really important plus they're really simple too this one's really simple gotta admit okay the first method is to type the input the second one is to type the reverse input and the third one is to compare between the input and the reverse input it's like input versus the reverse input okay so if both are the same then um, they're called a palindrome but if they aren't the same strings then they're not called a palindrome I hope you have got I hope you have understood what that meant it's just with the madam and mist, you know. Okay, the method I'm using over here is the slice method. So it's like string and start and step inside a square bracket. Um, so let's go and do some of the codings in here. I'm giving string is equal to knowledge word. You can choose any of them. And I'm giving string and square bracket with a starting number that's one so here i'm just gonna write all the letters of knowledge k is equal to zero n is equal to one o is equal to two w is equal to three l is equal to four e is equal to five d is equal to six g is equal to seven and e is equal to eight there are actually nine letters here but when we compare them in string it is actually only we get only eight and end is an exclusive here in in the start end and step and if our word has like five letters and the fourth word is our last letter or is our end instead of writing four we should write five only then we would get four got that Okay, just uh, give an example. Okay, I'm giving this over here. I oh, don't need the equal mark. We get the null. Now I'm just gonna copy the same thing over there just in case to get, you know, about the step. So I'm gonna, instead of one colon five, I'm just gonna give colon colon positive one. I'll just get the same number oops i left a space 
So in Python, you should never leave a space. I'm just going to do the same procedure again without leaving any spaces. You should be careful too. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to paste it. No spaces. And I get knowledge. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of positive 1, I'm going to give negative 1. I want to see whether it's going to come right or not. Okay, it worked. So, um, we can understand here that we have used the colon colon 1 to get the reversed reversed string of the word so that's it calling colon one is the key to the reverse input now let's write the codes Okay, so now I'm gonna save it and then gonna start to run the procedure. Okay, let's run the procedure. The first word I'm giving is madam. It's a palindrome and it went right. Let's give something else. Um, let's run it again. Okay, so I got, um, yeah, why don't we give no? And we got wonk and it's not a palindrome. It's completely true. Let's give my name now. Um, I'm gonna give my name. Uh, let's run this thing. Okay, Shahama. Okay, it's not a palindrome and it's completely true. I get it. So this thing is totally working and really be careful with the codes. Okay, and I hope you have understood whatever that I have explained. If you haven't, please just go check in here by rewinding it and last but not the least you can you know make this as a game or play it while you are hanging out with your friends to play you know it's just something really fun okay so i hope you have felt this useful and if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you